Hello, it is me, Woolsey, from Sootlog3D. So, if there's an echo on this video, it's because I'm using um, the microphone that's on my headphones, and so that's why it's echoing. But, um, that's unimportant. <coughs> so, today we are going to be doing an on-shape tutorial. Um, all right, just signing in. And so we can create, so this tutorial is going to be creating something like this because I have, I can't find any tutorials on this and I just, I thought it would be good to show you how to do it because not a lot of people are doing tutorials on this. So we're just going to create a document. This twist face test works. Um, I actually figured this out this morning. I got um, on space on shape yesterday, and I love it. So it's great. But also my laptop. Also, heh, also my laptop is at like ten percent. So uh, that's a thing. So I like to hide the front plane. I just feel like that's always easier. Um, you do you though. Um, so we're gonna create a sketch. We're gonna do it on the top. So it's gonna be on the top plane because that's just the base. Shoot. But, so it's always, you know, I'll say that later. Um, so I'm just gonna do like that and have six. I'll do five sides because I don't know why. It's just cool. Um, so what we're gonna do is we will add a helix. And so this helix will cause it to turn up, which sounds weird, but so it has to be height and pitch. So it should all the height should always be twice the helical pitch. Unless you want a super dense curve, but that's gonna be not really that useful. So the helical pitch. Oh, we should probably add a circular edge. Um, so this right here, I don't want this edge of the base. So one inch and the helical, okay, so the height we want to be 100 millimeters just for this. And then since it's um, um, two to one, we have to do, or yeah, 50 millimeters. So we want it to be a very basic base. Um, so we want to show this again, but, okay, so now we're going to sweep. We have to, um, shoot. I don't understand why it does that. Um, so we're going to add a sweep and the face that we want to sweep is the face of the base. Mm -hmm. Um, and the sweep path is going to be, the sweep path is going to be this helix. And so you see it will spin like that. Um. It works better with like a four-sided shape, and if you're going to be doing shapes with more sides, you need to um, put the helix ratio a lot further down. So this I'm going to do 20, 25 millimeters. Oh no, no, we need to we need to make this. 75. And so there we have a twist. And if we want to add a fillet, fillet, a chamfer, whatever you want to call them. Because, wait, is it chamfer? Yeah, that's chamfer. Um, 
So yeah, that just makes it a lot curvier. And actually we can change that to be a little bit more. Um, we want I'm just I'm just making it look better. And now we can turn this into a vase by adding a shell. We want one millimeter. And so that doesn't really look that good, but you know, it works. Um, and that's how you create a twist. And so you can apply that to other things and it works the same. It's pretty cool. I like this. It's simple. But I have a video coming out on the Ender 3. Um, I've just been too lazy to um, edit that. But this is going to be an unedited video. What? Unedited. What? Is that a word? I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how you make a twist face or twist. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.